In this demonstration of TK Madagascar, we're going to show you how to execute SCONS commands on flows that you've constructed inside of the TK Madagascar sandbox. So we're going to go ahead and continue with the Ricker Wavelet example from the first tutorial. And once we have created and configured our flows, we're just going to go ahead and open the log window. The log window is just going to allow us to see our output from our SCONS runs in the background as we run processes. So now that everything is configured, we're just going to go ahead and run this SCONS command of our choice. I usually recommend people start with SCONS N just to make sure that everything is configured correctly. And so we're going to go ahead and run that. You can see down here that we grab the output as we would see it on the command line basically. And we see that we've run three commands here, one to create a spike, one to create a Ricker wavelet and one to view the Ricker wavelet. So everything looks okay here. We had a successful run. And then we're going to go ahead and run SCONS view. And when we run SCONS view, the process operates entirely or exactly the same as we would expect from a command line operation. So here's our nice 20 hertz Ricker wavelet. Looks great. And we can also run SCONS minus C to clean our local directory. It's important to note that all of these SCONS commands are being run inside of your local directory. So if you don't want to create any files in a specific directory, then you need to change your working directory before you launch TK Madagascar. So lastly, we always want to clean things before we close TK Madagascar, uh, simply because we don't want uh, files hanging around. I'm also going to show you guys how you can kill a process. And so in this case we're going to run SCONS view and we have our Ricker wavelet again showing. And if we look at the output here, this process is actually waiting on this Ricker wavelet uh, window to close. Uh, if for some reason one of our processes is hanging or it's taking too long, we can click kill process and the process will be automatically killed by TK Madagascar. You should note that uh, the kill is done via basically a kill minus nine command on the on the command line, and so you will not get a clean termination of SCONS as you might on the command line if you use Control C. So that's just a basic overview of TK Madagascar's run functionality.